Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So my save game for some reason corrupted. Luckily I only lost about 10 minutes of gameplay because I did use a backup save game. So pleased that they are there. If they weren't then we would keep losing everything. Yeah, the series would be over. Um, yeah, anyway, that was the that, that was the clothes that we've already sold, so nothing new there. The drill is just continuing with the sorghum. I had to restart it. And yes, we just bought the planter, the new John Deere planter. Now, I promise you that I did not set this up because the game crashed. I had to go back to April again, and it got us a new list of used machines. And, um, well, look what's in it. Nothing to do with me. I did not put it there. The game put it there. Um, I was actually going to go with the John Deere. But I did say, if a tracked tractor comes into the sale, we'll buy it. And somehow, it is like magic, one of them has come into the sale. So, it looks like maybe the uh, corrupt save game was a blessing in disguise. Just as long as it doesn't corrupt again. I can't cope with it corrupting every single day, because I have to keep redoing bits that have been uh, lost. Okay, so we're going to get this taken back to the farm, and then I think we should seriously consider buying the quad track, even though I don't need it at the moment. We will need it to replant the big field once we own it. I'm actually not too sure where we need the lorry uh, next, so I'm just going to put it over here. Because we will have quite a few donuts coming soon, but that's going to be after we've got the wheat. It needs to be processed into the flour. Um, but yes, we do need to be at the store because we are going to buy that quad track. So let's just take a look. And yes, I'm going to buy the highest spec model just because we might as well. The default is the 470, which is the smallest, I believe. Yes, it is. And the biggest is the 620, uh, which is 692 horsepower. So, wow, there's so many to choose from. But yes, we'll go with the, uh, the 620, which is £108,500 more expensive than the smallest one. Um, but yeah, we're going to go for it. £310,000 in the sale. How much would that have been outside of the sale? Just try and find it on here. Six hundred and fourteen thousand five hundred. Okay, um, and it weighs twenty one point four tons. Brilliant. Wow, I think that is just incredible. So pleased that we've been able to get this. They are monsters. They are incredible pieces of machinery. Okay, so there we go. Get the planter on the back. The planter only requires about 320, so technically we could actually run the planter behind our Massey Ferguson, but I'm not going to. I think it just looks right behind a tracked tractor. Wow, so it's only taken 100 and... what are we on, 155? Yeah, I think about 155 episodes to get something like this. A monster quad track. Uh, it, it does seem a shame not to use it today since we have it here. And maybe, actually, since we've just bought this, um, the plant which I said a few episodes ago we're never going to get rid of, maybe we should get rid of it. Because it is kind of obsolete, except for, yes, the uh, the smaller fields would be... Uh, it would definitely be better there. Um, yeah, I, I think it would make sense to get rid of it, but it is a good, very good planter. If my new plan of buying the big field hadn't come along, I would have kept this one for the whole series. Okay, the chickens... Oh yes, of course, I moved the chickens' eggs as well. That progress was lost. It will be quite interesting to see how much money we can get for the planter. Oh, it's probably worth keeping it then. <laughs> that is really bad. Uh, it's 160 months old. 4,830, hooray. We can squeeze a bit more out of them by repainting it and repairing it, but very little. Yes, I only keep it. It's worth more to me than it is to sell, because we can use it in the tight fields. I will just pop it away nicely, have a very, very quick tidy up here. Put the combine away, doesn't want to be left out. Uh, yes, yeah, just finally putting the combine away in April, after it's been out the entire winter. 
But really, yes, we have a bit of animal work to do, but we are just really waiting for these crops to grow. We do have uh, some manure spreading to do, and some, oh, we've got the pruning. Yes, we should definitely prune. Oh, and we've got loads of wool here too. I'm not too sure if I move some of this in the save game where it corrupted, but we'll move them anyway. What I'll do is I'll get the electric forklift, which I very rarely use, and we'll bring them across. Let's get our little strobe on. There we go. And yes, I'll take them to this spinnery here for two reasons. One, it's much closer. And secondly, the other one I think is still processing the cotton. We need to make, just to play it safely, like seven or eight hundred thousand pounds before the end of harvest. Because we ideally want to be buying the big field, the biggest field on the map, before the farmer harvests it. This is quite a challenge. I don't actually know how I'm going to generate that kind of money. Yes, I really don't know. Um, but if, if it doesn't work out, then it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Because we can still buy it once it's been redrawed again. And it will just push the series back another year. To be honest, we've got so much to harvest anyway of our own. Um, yes, fitting in that field is going to be a bit of a challenge. I should have done this the first time. It's really good actually that that forklift can uh, tow that trailer. But I'm just going to shift these out of the way. I'm going to have to come through here with the feed mixer. Uh, pretty sure it's empty. Should have been emptied quite some time ago. So yeah, that one's not full, but it's going to have to move. Otherwise, the feed mixer is going to struggle to get through. Just jump up here, or I could just fall over. Uh, oh yes, that's going to empty because you can see they've got nothing here. So. Indeed, we have no feed once that is empty. Right, so this will keep the spinnery going. Uh, it looks like there's loads of products over there. It's funny because I only just sold all the products, and I'm pretty sure the corrupt game was. Sorry, the corrupt save was after um, I sold everything. Because we would never have the amount of money that we have now if it was before, so. Uh, yeah, weird. Anyway, this will get the uh, wool processed. Just leave this here. We do have quite a bit of honey. That's going to be transferred with the auto-loading trailer. But there's no rush. Because the cereal factory is currently on hold. We've run out of oats. But I did drill oats in the previous episode. Okay, the worker has just finished. Very good timing. Let's just see what it's really done. It won't have finished finished. It'll have just done the bit that I told it to do. Good grief. Wow, you need a pay rise. You did a very good job. Usually the workers uh, really struggle with this side. But it's pretty much done everything. I am impressed. That is really good. Thank you, worker. Your quality of work there was outstanding, really. I can forgive not wanting to finish one metre <laughs> after you've done all that. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, get us back to the farm. And, yeah, after the um, feeding, I think we'll be ready to go into May. We will have to, we'll definitely have some grass to do, so we'll get some grass done bit of silage maybe. I would actually like to rent a forager and use a, a pickup, but I know it's unnecessary when we're trying to save up. It's just it's a different way of processing the, the grass for silage. Keep it a bit more interesting. I guess I could just go to the dealership and say, 
please can I demo a forager? And then they might say yes. And we can use it for free. Oh, look at that setup. That is so good. Amazing. Uh, right, so yes. Just to get a tractor to go over to the feed mixer. We should have one nearby. And use the JCB. I already did this in the previous episode. Empty it out and then it will be ready for a new load. Which I'll do. Uh, they'll probably take some of the new load but very little. So it'll just be there ready for next time. Usual thing. It's going to be three hay. Uh, do we have silage left in the pit? No we don't. So it's going to be two silage bales, probably, and one straw bale. Nice and simple. Engage the PTO and we'll get it done. very little. Okay, still got 69% but it took quite a bit. Um, so that should be everybody happy because the chickens were fed a great deal. Uh, yes, they did cost quite a bit. Already munching their way through it all. Uh, the sheep, they're very cheap to run. They're brilliant. Uh, they're all fine. The cows are fine. Everybody's fine. Everyone's happy, hooray, which means we can go to bed and we can uh, see what May brings. Well, it did just rain, but it looks like today is good. A good day to do mowing. Wow, 19,000 pounds property income. Um, yeah, it looks like you do get more, I, I'm not 100% not sure, but it looks like you do get more solar money in the summertime, which makes sense, springtime. Um, yeah, everything is growing nicely, but there's nothing to do because it's all fully fertilised. So we'll prune, we will mow, and we will, well, we're going to have to do the fertilising of the olive grove and the vineyard. So, yeah, I've got nothing to tab to. Ah, got my vehicles disabled. Yeah, so we should... I hope we're okay to still do it, actually. I was under the impression I can still prune in May, but actually now I think about it, maybe that's a bit too late. Yes. Well, we'll try it. It doesn't matter if it's a late harvest. But we do need to mow. I don't know, actually, if it does say. I don't know how strict they are on that. No, it doesn't actually say when the latest time is, so yeah, hopefully it'll be all good. But this does take a bit of skill. Not saying I have the skill, <laughs> just proving that I don't. Um, but it is something that you sort of get the hang of. It's a shame they aren't just ever so slightly closer together because it would make it so much easier. I will keep missing it, I'll have to keep backing up. But I'll try my best to keep this going nicely because it is just so much faster to use two. I shouldn't do that, I'll start missing bits. Yep. If you had to do all of this with just one, wow, that would be a big job. But no, from experience doing it last time, it did not take too long at all. And if I got super confident, I could probably go one mile per hour faster, but yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. This is plenty fast enough. Oh, this bit here is tricky because the tractor sort of tilts over and it, it really uh, messes up our alignment Whoa. and in fact it, no, it launches into <laughs> don't know why I found that so funny but no that piece there is really really difficult to get so we either leave it or we come back for it I think the only way of doing it actually is by going up on the other side 
Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. We've gotta get this done. Really wanna do some mowing today. Right, well that is this side done, the biggest vineyard, the other one is nowhere near as big. But you can see it's, it's always down that side, it's where the tractor starts to tilt one way, sort of lifts up the attachment and that's why it makes it difficult. But I got most of it, I really don't mind about the odd bits, it's just so insignificant. We've got plenty of uh, grapes, we've got loads of raisins which have been produced from them, so it's all good. Right, so I need to obviously do this one as well. This really shouldn't take too long. Good start. Yeah, if only it's like just 10 centimeters closer together, it would make all the difference. Oh, that is annoying. Okay, we don't want to see this, it's painful. Um, I will time lapse it once again, which I, th I think is still better than jump cutting it. And uh, you can see, you see the tractor's tilting that way, so it just completely lifts it off. Actually, not possible to do it. But yeah, this side is going to have to be done individually, but only only the first few. After that, the field is fairly flat. I did try and flatten it as much as possible, but you know what it's like. Sometimes you just can't get it perfect. It is looking very bare, but that's the idea. Yes, we're pruning, ready for the new growth, which should have been done a few months ago, but there you go. <laughs> uh, yes, it, it should be fine, because we're not harvesting for a while. It's, they do seem to grow pretty fast, actually. So the last run, and I'm gonna get the Massey Ferguson tractor with the two mowers. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna mow that piece of grass over there. Obviously it's not fertilised or anything, it's just meadow grass, but it seems a shame not to get anything out of it at all. Okay. There we go, as I said, we've got the odd piece, uh, which really, to me at least, doesn't seem to matter for now. If we were still uh, pretty desperate for money, then it would be worth every penny of fuel to go back and get those pieces. But yeah, we are just doing so well now. I like to be thorough, but at the same time we just we just don't need every single little bit. Okay, right, so get this taken over I've gone the wrong way. Over to that shed. Just quickly spin around. <laughs> uh too busy thinking about that piece of grassland. It's heading off to it. This tractor's annual job is done. squeeze into there and yes the Matty Ferguson tractor which is just here uh, and the mowers should be yeah the mowers are at the far end of the shed 
I'd be so good to use that quad track. I would love to use it now, but we just really have nothing. Oh, having said that, the meadow grass which we're about to mow, once it's all been collected up, that could be ploughed to then be able to create a proper field which we can fertilise. But its time will come. We will be using it a great deal. Well, here we are. So it needs to be set up to be on swath mode. Currently set to widespreading. So to do this, I need to be on there. Swath dropping. Uh, where shall I start? I think I'll try and start about here. Should be fine. Okay, yeah, get right up to the edge. That's surprising, there is actually quite a bit of grass coming off there. No fertilizer. Uh, I probably could even go around here. Yep, might as well. We own it, so <laughs> might as well make the most of it. Okay, lift up there, and we'll head back down over here. So it's hopefully going to go into the same silage pit as before. Um, at the moment I'm not too sure exactly how we're going to pick it up. I could rent a loading wagon, because I don't think we own one, or I could use a forager, attach a trailer to the back of the forager, and then, uh, yeah, cart, take it off when it's full, and then uh, cart it back. But yeah, I'm not too sure. But that's looking good, actually a very clean finish. I don't know how far that way we own, I think it's about there. Don't really want to mow outside of my boundaries. And then back to the beginning. So pretty good, I would say. There is rain on the way, but it doesn't matter. And we're not doing hay, so... Yeah, it doesn't need to be super dry. And then just this middle piece. I actually thought it was a bigger area. I think it must be because I was incorporating fill number one, because I was going to turn that into grass. Which I might still do. But yep, that looks okay. Whilst I've got the mowers on, I will also mow the field back at the farm again. Because we might as well. <laughs> There's absolutely no point just leaving it there. I'll make the most of it. It can all be silage. Just really fill the pit. And yeah, that field back at home has been fertilised fully. So that's going to produce a lot of grass. Let's just see how much further in that direction I own. Because we, we could take a little bit more. Very, a very small amount. Um, so that's that bank. Oh yeah, not much. Very little in fact. Probably half of this width. Half of our mown width extra. No, we'll stick with what we've done here. That's fine. I think we might just about get the scene one pass. It's going to be tight. Oh, so close. Okay. Just tidy that up a bit. Yellow car coming. It was ready to crash into me. Finished. Okay, right. So, yeah, next time we'll be over here. Cleaning it all up. I'll see you over in field number something. 40 something I think? 42. You would have thought I'd remember by now, we've owned it for so long.
Nice thick grass. That is really, really good. Extremely uh, dense, thanks to all the manure. And this should keep us going for a long time. The grass that we've got here and in the other field. Because we've still got those silage bells there. Which I'm very slowly working through. Uh, in fact, this might be enough. This might produce enough silage for the rest of the series. I really don't know. Because I, I, I don't know how long ago it was that I produced the pit over there. That did last for quite some time. And that was only from this field. Anyway, there we go. We are done. And yes, as I said, we'll pick all that up later in the next episode. Um, but let me know. Do you want to see the forager? Obviously, if we use the forager, it's going to be probably more expensive than using a loading wagon. Although, yeah, loading wagons are not cheap. Because I will be using the big one. It's an extremely long way to cart as well from that top field. Um, so, yes, we could use a forager and then have a big trailer on the back. But for now, yep, yeah, we can just think about it and choose an option for next time. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this save game does not corrupt. Um, if it does, hopefully there's a backup. But yeah, looking forward to using this. Hopefully in a few episodes time, might do a contract. But until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.